I'm Dr. Keith Ryan, a chiropractor in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I wanted to talk to you about the, uh, the benefits of, of MRI after a car accident. Now, there's, there's uh, certain reasons that you want to diagnose what's wrong with you after you've had a car accident. Ordinarily, at least in Oklahoma, you've got about two years before you file suit. So you either have to settle or file suit. So it's important to know what's wrong with you in a timely manner. So if you're hurt in an accident and you have pain uh, that's either not going away or you have pain that's radiating down your, your, your arms or legs, it's sometimes important to diagnose exactly what's going on and know it in a, in, a, in a relatively early time frame into your accident because it's important that that you seek the right care because you just don't have forever to get it to get it better I mean they can put you in a in a time frame where you're not able to get better because of that of that two years on that on that and so it's a it's a it's a difficult situation and but you know two years is a lot of time it's usually ample time but people find out that they that they don't know what's 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 wrong with them early on then Second issue that pops up, without knowing right away what's wrong with it, if you, if you wait months after your accident and then you're diagnosed with a herniated disc or something, well, when did that herniated disc happen? Did it happen in the accident? Or had you done something after that that may have herniated the disc? So it creates problems. So, you know, having a, a good diagnosis early on really eliminate some of the issues about causality and, and what caused the, 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 the disc or what caused the, the tear or what caused the problem in your neck or, you know, is it hurt from the accident? Is it hurt from something else across there? So, um, and then there's different types of MRIs. I mean, you know, not, not knowing that MRIs, there's, there's uh, a registered in power. A lot of the open MRIs that you see are usually like, like a half a T. And then the most powerful MRIs are like three T. Um, so if you have a choice on where you're running your MRIs, you always want to run it in the three T because it doesn't cost any more to get the best information as it does to get the worst information in the, uh, in the, in the half T's across there. And there's a huge difference about what you can see. I mean, if you're running in a three T, you can virtually see everything that's going on. I mean, it's just an exquisite picture. And the, the half T doesn't have near the, the vision that the other one does. So, hope I explained a little bit about why you'd want to have an MRI after, after an accident and, and, and its importance to your to diagnosing and, and, and treatment in your case.